let's create an immersive quiz game for your audience using AI. Today, we're going to harness the power of AI and ClassPoint's PowerPoint embedded quiz questions to create a quiz competition right inside PowerPoint. Perfect for repurposing any of your older slide decks to go ahead and test your audience understanding and their knowledge, or for creating a fun game right from scratch. With only these couple of steps, you guys will have your interactive quiz in no time. Like I said, if you want to keep your quiz pretty general, have a topic in mind, you can start from scratch using a blank PowerPoint slide deck and just typing out your information. However, this process is really great for repurposing any of your older slides that's already full of information. We don't want to waste any of that material we already have. So I have a slide deck already opened up here and to get AI generated questions based on the information on my slides, I'm going to go straight into our presentation mode. Now the AI can generate questions based on any one of your slides in your presentation but we're just going to start with this intro slide. That way we start our quiz nice and general. So we're going to go ahead and click on the AI button on the ClassPoint toolbar. If you guys don't have ClassPoint yet, make sure you download and install for free at ClassPoint.io. I'll link it up above and down below for you. Otherwise, we can go ahead and get started. Before we generate some questions, let's go ahead and change our options first. So you can change the different level of questions that will be generated. However, I want this quiz to be pretty general, so I'm going to keep all of them set here, but I will make sure to uncheck our short answer and fill in the blanks and just keep multiple choice. Because we're going to be use, using class points quiz competition mode, which will auto award stars or points to our audience and comes with a really nice Excel summary for us. So when all of those options are set, we can go ahead and generate a question. The AI will start analyzing your slide and generate a question for you. If you guys like the look of the question, you can save it as a slide or go ahead and generate another one. This question looks pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and save this right into our presentation. You guys will see that a button has been added onto the slide, making it interactive. There are a few things we need to change about this to make it that competition quiz mode here. But before we go ahead and do that, let's go ahead and add more AI questions from different slides in our presentation. All right, we have about 10 questions ready to go for this quiz competition. However, let's go ahead back into edit mode and make a few changes. So all of these slides are just normal PowerPoint slides. So you guys can go ahead, you can edit the text, the colors, the shapes, the formats, the design, however you want your quiz competition to look, you can make that happen. For us, we're just going to leave it how it is right now. But one change I am going to make is I'm going to move up all of these questions straight to the top of my presentation. This way, all the questions are together and we can run through that competition mode pretty quickly. And then we are going to move up this title slide though. That way we have something to start on. You guys are more than welcome to keep your question slides sprinkled in throughout your presentation if you want to teach and ask questions at the same time. Next up to set up this competition is clicking on our multiple choice button here. You'll see the class point side panel opens up with the number of choices and the correct answer already filled in for you, which is so nice. To make it that competition and auto award stars, we're going to click on quiz mode here. Then you can set the level of difficulty here based on your question. This also corresponds to the number of stars that your audience will receive if they answer the question correctly. So this question is pretty simple. It's our first one. So we're going to have it be um, an easy difficulty level here. And so anyone who answers correctly with the answer choice A will receive one star. You can keep track of all of these scores through our leaderboard, which we'll check out in a little bit. Then if you scroll down, you'll see our play options. So when I'm running a quiz competition, I love setting up these play options. So I have to do the least amount of manual work possible. So that means we're going to start our activity with our slide. We're going to minimize the activity window after it starts, and we're going to have it auto close after we'll do 10 seconds. That way it's a pretty quick competition we have here. And the last thing I want to mention on our slides is you'll see that the correct answer is here. There is an automatic animation added so that this box will cover it. And then when you click your mouse, the answer will be revealed. If you don't want to re reveal your answer in that way, you can go ahead and just delete both of these boxes. But for now, let's go ahead and make those same changes to all of our other questions. And then we'll be ready to join with our audience. When it's time to run your quiz competition with your audience, head into presentation mode and have your audience join the class. To join your class, they just need to go to classpoint.app using any browser on any device, typing in this class code and their name. 
Once they're joined in, they'll be listed here along with all the other members of your audience. And then you can close this window when you're ready to begin the questions. So we'll go ahead straight into this next question. The question will automatically open and minimize because of those play options that we set before. You can always click into this button to reveal the responses early or just wait and it will automatically close for you. You can choose to go through all of your quiz competition questions before revealing any of the results in the responses or you can click on the green button to take a look at the responses right away. We can show our audience the correct answer and anyone who submitted the correct answer will be awarded their stars. You can track your audience scores and their rankings with ClassPoint's leaderboard. So you can look at that from the ClassPoint toolbar, clicking on the leaderboard icon here, and you'll see the total rankings of your audience. To save these rankings and track their progress over time, may we suggest using a saved class. So a saved class will track all of these stars throughout every session that you use it and give you access to this total stars rank as well. For more information on using a saved class for your quiz competition, take a look at the video linked up above or down below. Now, lastly, let's touch base back on that exciting, nice quiz summary Excel report that we have. So after you have ran a few of your questions, you can see the quiz summary table filled in with all of those results. So down here is the quiz summary icon. You can take a look at the data here, or you can see the quiz responses in this nice table set here. To get that Excel report, just click download and you can open it up in Excel after the quiz competition is over. And how easy was that? You guys can now create your very own AI-generated quiz competition right inside PowerPoint. It can be used with new slides, old slides, and in so many contexts, not just for teachers and review sessions. Drop us a comment below and how you use it in your next PowerPoint presentation. Don't forget to, to stay updated with all of our latest ClassPoint and PowerPoint tips and tricks by clicking on that subscribe button, turn on notifications, give us a thumbs up, and leave us a comment below.